What up boys and welcome back to another video. So last week I uploaded a video on how to solo farm the dungeon the other side and if you guys haven't watched that one you definitely should. It, I tell you about like what my average gold per hour was from doing it for one hour, what classes can do it, how it's done and everything you need to know. So link to that down below in the description. But in this video as the title and the thumbnail claims I've done 50 runs of the dungeon or five hours worth farming because I do one run in like right below six minutes uh, or so on my guardian druid which has an item level of 187 right now but the reason why I wanted to do 50 runs or five hours was to get a better like average uh, amount of uh, gold right because I only did one hour of it and my one hour results were in some cases way worse than some of my viewers and they were way better than some other viewers, right? Naturally, because the uh, the, the vast majority of the gold you're going to take home from this farm is going to be from Callosite and Heavy Callosite, which has an increased drop chance since you're dealing with elite mobs. But, like, you can be super unlucky, and you can do, like, 10 runs, you can get 2 Heavy Callos, and then you can do 10 runs, and you can get 20. Like, it's RNG. So that's why I wanted to do uh, 50 runs of the place, just to see... How much gold exactly I would make on average per run or uh, per like one hour of farming it. So before we dive into the numbers, I do want to mention that you guys can still get my 0 to 10 million gold guide for 50% off using the code Shadowlands. And the link to that is down below in the description and pinned comments. And this is a book that I've uh, written myself and I'm going to keep on updating the book throughout like every single expansion. So it's like a one-time purchase and you will get every single update for free so um it's always going to be irrelevant in that case and yeah enough of that so how much gold did i make as i already said the gold is going to be in the heavy cows and the calisite but you also get a good amount of meat so this is all the loot that i'm left with from doing 50 runs so i also got a bunch of these nature splendor i think two of them were before i started the runs i think i got like 11 or so of these which uh seems fair enough like two an hour on average that's pretty much what i've been getting uh, at any farm doesn't matter if i kill uh, four thousand mobs or 400 mobs an hour but we're looking at um the majority of the gold coming from callus as i said and we got 70 calicide which has a market value of 146,000 gold we have uh, 492 calisite, which has a market value of 102,000 gold. And then we've got some pallet bones. They're not worth that much. 3,000 gold uh, total market uh, value on those. Same with the desolate letter. It's like 5k market value on them. Uh, then we've got some heavy desolate, but it's kind of bad. It's like another 1,000 gold and heavy desolate letter. And uh, then we've got a lot of ribs. These guys have a, almost, I think it's a guaranteed rib drop. I'm not sure about that, but they, they drop... Uh, plenty of ribs so 452 ribs and these are needed for the haste food which is the uh these really the sought after food with cooking so they're really expensive a total market value of these is going to be on the 452 of them it's going to be 54,000 gold and then i also have like roughly 8,000 gold in shadowy shags and whenever i miss pull and by miss pull i mean pull some of these guys the moth so I usually pull them uh, closer to the boss because the patrol is like on top of him and I can't be arsed to wait for this slow ass reindeer patrol to pass. So I just pull those as well. And they drop a couple of uh, creeping crawler meat. So that's another thousand gold in those. So all in all, total on this, not including the uh, nature of splendor bags, uh, we're looking at 320,000 gold. And on five hours, 50 runs that means that i've been making 64,000 gold an hour or 64,000 gold for every 10 runs so like right above 6,000 gold on average each run which is uh pretty much what i was getting uh when i originally made the video uh uh not the video i mean not the book not the uh, the video the other side which was 45 to 60,000 gold because people got different prices right now. And the prices on Kalisite has gone up because people need even more of the materials to craft the higher rank legendaries. So I really love the uh, the current legendary system. It keeps most of the uh, materials relatively high in price. Most of them have gone up drastically, uh, like they're way higher now than they used to be like two weeks ago. It goes for like Lightless Silk and Kalisite and pretty much everything. 
So I think that is absolutely great. But um, I was surprised. Well, not really surprised, but I'm uh, more excited that this farm uh, turned out to be a really steady way of making gold because skinning super popular. I praise skinning like daily. I love skinning. I think it's absolutely great. Well, I think it's the best. Uh, the best solo way to make easy gold right now uh, by simply grinding is with skinning. So uh, there's naturally a lot of people doing it, but the demand is so high that the prices aren't really plummeting due to high supply because the demand is also super high. So it's nice to have a farm like this where you don't have to rely on the servers being steady. Like right now in Arden Wheel, there's a world boss up that makes the place laggy and it kind of sucks to, uh, to farm in the area. And a lot of the skinning farms are super populated with competition and you don't have to deal with that when you go inside the dungeon. So the only thing that is limited to is uh, your class and then your item level. It's going to be tough to do it if you're like freshly dinged 60 uh, on a priest, right? But the classes that can do it is a great alternative to running around in the open world and dealing with competition and possible uh, server lag. So... That was it for today's video. And if you like this video, please let me know. I can do definitely. I, I love grinding. I'm I'm messed up. So if you guys like this, I can definitely do like a longer sessions on a lot of the different farms. Uh, and we can break down a, like a, a better gold per hour or materials per hour uh, on those locations as well. So leave suggestions down below in the comment section. And I will happily look at every single one of them. And don't forget to buy your mom and your stuck stepsister a copy of the zero to 10 million gold guide link in the description and i will see you all in the next one until then bye bye